We're back for some more Fallout 4. And if you need a doctor, let's get you examined. Hi. Are you a doctor? So you're a doctor? A veterinarian, actually. And don't give me that look. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. So let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. You're a veterinarian? I'm an old caravan girl, okay? You learn to take care of the animals, or you don't have a caravan for very long. Then you get ambushed, a couple of friends and family start bleeding out on the floor, and you learn how to patch a few wounds. You learn triage, too. Satisfied? <sighs> now let's talk. Not right now. Very well. Look, I'm trying to relax. Get on the road. Hey. Need a roof over your head? Only place in town. This some kind of motel? I prefer the term flop. <laughs> Don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we ran out all the beds we can. So did you want one? How many caravans come through here? All of them. They kind of own the whole town. <laughs> Money still has to change hands, so they know which caravan owes what. Bunker Hill is one big money makes the world go round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay him off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hey, weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? Hmm. So Bunker Hill just buys its way out of problems? It's all they know. Caravan folk are money folk. And all the people who settled here retired from the caravans. Now that doesn't mean a Bunker Hill boy doesn't know how to sling a gun. But why waste the bullet if you can buy your way out of trouble for less? Hey, did you want that room or not? <laughs> not interested. Might want to hit Paw for. Hey, let me take a look at you. Hey, go and talk to Jack. Then we can get down to business. I run three caravans that travel throughout the Commonwealth. Nothing good here. Let's see what's in here. Uh oh. Need a roof over your head? <clears throat> Bars open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. Profound. You own this place? Technically, everything is owned by all the caravan companies that come through here. We pull the money together and split it up. But as far as serving drinks goes, this bar is all mine. Which caravans come through here? Pretty much all of them. All the ones I know about anyway. Takes a certain kind of person to brave the Commonwealth trade routes. Don't know what started first, the Bunker Hill Settlement or the caravans. But they're practically one and the same nowadays. Either way, folks need drinks, so I... What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Honestly, kind of amazed we've lasted this long. We're always one broken deal away from complete disaster. But something keeps this place in one piece. Maybe the old spirits are looking out for us, huh? Hey, let's get some liquor in you. Right. Gonna pass. Only got some. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice little place. <clears throat> Not now, Chief. Master Chief? No. <laughs> Busy here. Alright, um... Like, I had something I wanted to do a while ago, but I can see what the fuck it was. It was something that was going to be cool, but I don't remember, so. There's that.
<laughs> They're all dead in there. Boxing gym. What? Is it all still lit up? It's kind of weird. get a um another suit on you know for the underneath which coffee is welcome joe's can't even take it um that it really it's kind of weird <gasps> boxing glove singular boxing glove yep that's how it works um, those full locker. Damn it, how, how, how did that break? Yes. Ooh, plasma. Hey. Yeah? Hi. What's the matter? What are your thoughts on our relationship? You're the kind of person I can depend on. There aren't many people lucky enough to know someone like that. Any thoughts? Your thoughts? I guess that's the end of that. No more Institute holding the Commonwealth hostage. Hell of a job you did there. Hell of a job. Your thoughts? Rounding up a bunch of escaped synths is about as much fun as catching rat roaches. Hope you have fun with that. Just wanted to check in. We're doing pretty good, I'd say. And in this shite hole we call a world, that's really saying something. Much, much Great. Was no problem. Uh huh. You heard it here. The ships. <sighs> oh, what do these assholes want? And lodged itself in a different building downtown. <laughs> How? Why? I suggest you just roll with it, folks. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's true. Awesome. Keep it tuned to Diamond City Radio for all the latest news, no matter how weird. Billy Ward and the Dominoes are next with 60 Minute Man. Private property. What the hell is a building that noise doing in a rundown city like this? Stay off the grass. This is private property. Move along. Authorized personnel only. I love the sentry bot voice. You are being watched. Oh, uh, there. Sir? Good day to you. Good day to you. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Can please turn that off? Yeah, this is really weird to have a this nice a house. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. 
Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Profound. Look at him. Weenie butts. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? A. Hey. Please, have a seat. There might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Of course. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You think aliens created human civilization? This is plain daft. It's what it is. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. Wow, do you watch My ancient father aliens? My excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. I don't think the camera knows what the fuck to do right now. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Oh, good. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, garden. Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. That sounds Are really fishy, motherfucker. Here? What's this missing package? I'm it's a metal key. Uh -huh. You don't need to worry about you all set. Sure. Nothing else. Okay. Right. That's really fishy. Why wouldn't they bother telling you, hey, it's an insane asylum? Ah, hello. Excuse me. Can it wait? I was just in the middle of something. 
Ancient aliens. I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city, buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations, but with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange, disturbing geometries. Tools not made for human hands. Carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. So it's a proof. You have proof. Enough to satisfy me. He only made a single expedition to the Lost City. But he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. <sighs> you said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. Uh, other questions? I wanted to ask you about some. All right. Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Are we done? What's going on at that old insane I carry out some of my research then. Uh, help me do my job. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, I suppose that may be true. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Are we done? How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. <clears throat> how possible? How's that possible? The war was 200 years ago. One of the effects of my father's <clears throat> illness was a slowing or arresting of the aging process. So, yes, he is well over 200 years old, as you suspected. Was there anything else? Nope. I've got to get going. All right. Well, that's interesting. So, how old does that make you? <laughs> Look at that painting. in here oh drugs <gasps> perfect what is that used for ammo Look at that. Well, here's something you don't come across every day. There isn't a speck of dirt anywhere. I'm just gonna make a save. We're gonna load this real quick and we're gonna save there too. Just, you know, in case he gets like kinda rumbled. Let's be honest, this, this is going to be pretty fun to use. Metal armor. Wow. Who would have thunk? Metal. Only opens with a key. That's interesting. Don't have the key. I don't know what they're working on in here, but it can't be good. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> yes? 
have a feeling we're gonna kill everyone here. Could be wrong. Oddly fishy how he has a two doors locked. He's got a fucking fat man. Got it. Nothing too interesting. Big kitchen. Lots of food. Something's really fishy is going on here. can't tell you what it is, but something's real fucking fishy. <laughs> it's weird. Two doors locked, and it's just in such perfectly good condition with an working intercom. Like, the only perfect place we've seen so far is the Institute, and the only reason it's so perfect is because it's underground. Well, was underground. Why would this house be in such perfect condition? Very strange. Even with a lot of resources, you couldn't get that to that stage. Even exteriorly. Hello there. That's pretty. Uh, hello, moving car. I just want to go find someone to use this on real quick. Oh, hello. Hey, Market Hall. No. Can you, can you shoot that, please? Oh, that was interesting. Let's see how this reloads. Oop. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm gonna always waste bullets on these people. What's even weirder? Those raiders are maybe a hundred meters away. Who the fuck's that? There's another raider. Damn, that's far up north. It's close to Dunwich in Salem. Oh yeah, I do have a question. Yeah, you, that's it's a real shame. I was really hoping that you could um actually colonize Salem. Salem's also in fairly good condition. Let me tell you though, these aliens are pretty good. Technically, however, in Fallout War, uh, the Zeddens, which is what that gun was, um, the one that we picked up, uh, they have existed, you know, because they, they've at least existed since the 1500s, because they did um, capture that one Japanese samurai in the Fallout 3 uh, DLC. Probably get my power armor too while I'm at it. I need a new helmet. We've we've used this one for so long. <laughs> hey. 
Hey. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward said you might know where to start looking for the package that went missing. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north Creamery. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kinda like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're gonna finally get rid of them. Why didn't they engage them? Hey, nautical! Yeah, what the hell is this? Because we did get that one thing. Someone requesting. Yeah, I can't, I can't. I couldn't hear that too well. Nautical. So I'm figuring it must be somewhere over here. Yeah, that's really close. I'd be like, hey guys, we really need to fucking fight these people. This is fishy. I don't like the look of this quest at all. John's do. Oops. Is those any good? <laughs> nope. Uh, let's see the serum. That. Uh, there's nothing else good on you. set up here on oh my eye. Pretty fucking weird, mate. They should have cleared this place out. I should have probably asked them when I haven't. I might have just dodged the question, though. Yeah, we haven't seen any Yao Guai. I don't know. You used to see a good amount of them in um, Fallout 3, actually. I don't remember if they were in New Vegas. They might have been. I seriously forget. I think they're all like they're mutated bears, but they, they're really not. <laughs> like, they have less fur. That's basically it, and a few blisters. Not accept 
Imogen. Imogen is missing, and I want her found. Imogen. She's not missing, mother. Do you know where she is? Impossible that she's alive. Your sister is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the so family? So did you find out what happened mother, to the courier? Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogen. Again. I insist you send someone to find Imogene. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? Tick tock. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. How are they so Something weird is going on with these people. Even care. We've been over this, mother. Just some raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Next time, we uh, we put pants on.